Okay, now let's do it, but infinitely faster. Okay. Okay. Do you think this is the king? Yeah. Or, and this is the queen? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay, turn that over. <laughs> ah. And open up that. Wow. <laughs> Give this a shake as well. Is this your card? <laughs> okay, turn them over. <laughs> A witch! I guess magic is anything happening that is, um, by definition, impossible. So yeah, anything that should not be able to happen due to the laws of physics, I think, is magic at its most basic form. Pocket or cup? Where's the ball? Pocket, after watching the last bit of the show. Pocket? Alright. She nailed it, that is the end! No, that's not an applause. Remember standards. The watch real close. We take it like this. We put it back like this. We snap. That reappears there. But you've seen that already. The finale is when it goes over here. When it goes over here, something crazy happens. When it goes over here, we snap. We get a lemon. <laughs> now, I'll be honest with you guys. I guess um, it's a sort of two-way street, really, isn't it? I always use the uh, an analogy, really, of, uh, of a, perhaps a taxi ride. And uh, you, get into the, you get into the taxi with your, uh, with, with your audience. And you... you you go on this kind of uh, trip, little journey together, and um, when you get to your destination, you just uh, you just you just get out, and hopefully you both or all of you had a good time. Stop. Wow. Well, right. The last <laughs> one takes a split second to just. Very good. Yeah. You can keep that. Thank you. Carol won't mind, will she? <laughs> I thought it was uh, amazing. I'm, I'm very impressed. So uh, it was our fork, my initials on it, and completely bent and discombobulated. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. I'm imagining this feel. Hmm. It's a bit of a tricky question. Uh, for me, I, I suppose it is about sharing that kind of moment that you have with your spectators as you're performing for them and creating that impossible moment and being, being able to share that with people and kind of experience what they are experiencing at the same time. Well, let me think now. My father was, uh, was a magician, so it's sort of in the family. And um, I was already in the entertainment business doing some singing and music and things. And I just gradually slipped into it. I think the thing about magic is that sometimes it finds you as well. You know, you get the, you get the tap on the shoulder and it kind of draws you in. So to a certain extent, it was a mixture of the two, uh, of the family involvement and also, um, you know, the fact that I got the tap. <laughs> What one do you think it is? Eight of hearts. Wow. That's pretty cool. And your eight of hearts. Very, very impressed. Um, we chose a card at random. Sophie signed it. Yep. And then he kind of put it in the box. Burnt the box. And this one is the only one that was burnt. Yeah. Our card. No, amazing. Yeah, it's very good. Thank very you. Good. We liked it. Well, I mean, obviously, magic when I first watched it made me feel, you know, amazed and just astonished. And it, and I think at best it sort of short circuits your whole brain or something like that because you just have this moment where everything you thought you knew is like brought into question for just a tiny second. 
Because if that happened, how can that happen? You know it can't. And it's that lovely sort of mixture of feelings where you know that what you're seeing must have an explanation, but you also know that there is no explanation. And I think that's the best moment when you see magic. So that's how kind of that, that feeling of amazement and, and wonder, I guess, is what magic makes me feel. When performing it, I guess you get a bit of a different thing because you're giving that feeling to somebody else. And um, that's got its own sort of, you know, joy. And it's nice uh, when people are really amazed and they, it, when what you're doing really hits them in that way. And you know that they've just experienced what you experienced when you started. I think that's the most satisfying moment for me. And um, that feeling is just joy, I guess. Just makes me feel happy that they're having a, you know, that they're enjoying it. <laughs> oh, there's certain new bits of tricks, I've never seen them before. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the magician managed to change my king of hearts into the nine of hearts by lighting the card and it changed as we watched it. It is brilliant, it's fabulous. I don't know how he did it, but it's lovely. Uh, so I started magic um, when I was about five or six years old. And I used to be uh, visiting my grandmother, and as a kid, obviously, that's not the most amount of fun you can have. And I found uh, a magic kit in the in the attic uh, that used to belong to my cousin. So I used to go up to the attic, and then I would practice with the magic set. I would then come downstairs and then and, and show it to my grandparents and my family and, and everyone who was there. Uh, so that's really how I got started. This hand on top, hold that there. In a second, what's going to happen is this fork in Ruby's hand is going to bend. When it does, try not to drop it, okay? Don't fear, try not to drop it. Keep your hands together, slowly, lightly, without much pressure. Rub a little bit like this for me. Do that. Keep doing that, it's perfect. When you feel it start to bend, let me know. You guys at this side might see it happen. Well, I think you can see that moving. Can you feel anything? Yeah, yeah, it's going. Okay, stop. If this is bent even a little bit, the next part of the show is going to be insane. Ruby, lift up your hand for me. Oh, it actually goes. That's a pretty good job. But wait for it. Hold your applause. I started magic when I was about 10 or 11 years old, and I saw uh, David Blaine on TV, his special street magic. My dad showed me it, and I was watching that. I just thought it was the most incredible thing ever. And I've always been someone that likes to learn cool skills, so I like to learn to juggle or try and solve a Rubik's Cube or anything that to me looks cool, I just want to try and learn it. So I think when I saw magic, to me that is the ultimate cool skill because, you know, juggling, so juggling is really impressive, but then doing something that's totally impossible to me is surely like the highest form of like, oh my God. So I think that's kind of what drew me to it is I just thought it was really incredible and I wanted to be able to learn it. Uh, that's basically it, I just saw it and I was like, I need to learn this. I didn't really, it wasn't really a decision, it was more of a, I just really need to learn this, like a reaction, I guess. Um, so that's why I got started. Uh, well then. What card is this? Ace of diamonds. Diamonds. Let's just forget ace. Call it diamonds, yeah? Diamonds. Hold out your hand like this. Just like that. I'm going to put diamonds right in there. If you hold on to that for me. Nice and tight. If you've got diamonds, what have I got? Hearts. Hearts, yeah? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my hearts for your diamonds, but so quickly you won't be able to see, yeah? If I just... <laughs> right. Right, so without looking now, what card do you Hearts. think you have without me? Because I switched it so fast, didn't I? Well, I beg to differ, but cool. You switched it? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, yeah. what card do you think you have? Uh, Hearts. Hearts, because I switched it. Yeah. Alright, let's do it for real this time. Uh, I'm going to switch it, but so fast. So fast, yeah? Yeah? Okay, so if you hold both of these. What card do you think is this one? I forgot now, hang on. You forgot? Um, I think that diamonds is on top and uh, hearts is on top. You sure? So, hearts, diamonds. You sure? Yeah. Diamonds back. Diamonds? Yeah. Diamonds and hearts? What? Yeah? The first one, yeah. Yeah? I reckon that's diamonds and that was hearts. All right, turn them over. Not nice. <laughs> Good. Good. Them. That was quick. Yeah. Oh? I was right. <laughs> How do you... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that was cool, man. Well, we zip back a few thousand years to the Bible. And uh, those guys, they really knew how to rock, right? We got to feeding the 5,000, walking on water. They were real professionals. And we zip forward again a few thousand years, and we're still doing it. We're still doing it. And as a magician, you see, I like to make that connection, I think, between whoever I'm showing the trick to. Just a little special moment. Why I do magic? 
uh, it's something I've always done. Uh, as I was saying, I, I was do, I've been doing it since I was a little kid, five, six years old. Um, and it's always been something that, I don't know, because everyone loves a mystery, I think. And it's, it gives you the ability to create that mystery for people. And it, it, that's always something that's interested me. And I've always been interested in other weird kind of supernatural things as well. And obviously you can't realistically produce those kind of miracles on a daily basis. Um, so magic tricks was kind of a substitute for that, I suppose, in some way. All right, take out a card. That one? That one? That one? Okay. Yeah? That one. Okay. Don't show me, you can show the camera and your friends. Okay. And what I'm going to get you to do is write your name on it, as big as you can, across the face. Wait. Alright, can I take that back? I won't look at it. I'm gonna put it in about halfway, yeah? And because that card is unique to you, it's the only card like that in the world with your name on it, isn't it? Can you snap your fingers? Alright. It just jumps to the top. Alright, let's do that one more time. Could you actually, uh, actually, you push it in there. Hold the deck. Turn on the top card. The top card. Oh, it's good. It's really good. There's a blue card again. Look at that. Very good. Turn on the top card. Wow. <laughs> Turn on the top card. No. What? <laughs> Could everyone wave your hand over the deck? Yeah? All right, let's see if that's worked. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Let's try that one more time, uh, but I actually need your help this time. Okay. Uh, so could you actually push it in? Push it in there. Could you push it in there? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so good. <laughs> you cheeky boy. Oh. Alright, alright, let's uh, just get your card. I need you all to wave your hands all over my foot. Jumps right to the top. Could you snap the fingers while I'm dribbling? Yeah. You can keep that. Can I? Yeah. No way. Woo! How did that magic make you feel? It made me feel creeped out. Yeah? It was really amazing. I like, I don't know how it worked. <laughs> no, it was, it was pretty good, yeah. Brilliant. I, yeah, it was intense. Thank you. Yeah. yeah? Do you think it was real magic? Yes. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Do you think that this guy here, is he? Is it creepy that he's so magical? He yes. Do you have any idea at all how you think he did any of it? Uh, he had another card that had my name on. Wow. That's, that's an interesting theory. That's interesting, yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel, oh, it makes me feel brilliant that there's magic in the world. I love that there's magic in the world. No need to try and figure out how it's done, just to enjoy it. No. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I just got a fog in my throat. <laughs> this trick was promoted by Innocent Smoothies. Pomegranate magic! Woo!
Okay, Marco, how old is magic? That's a very good question. I think we really need to go back, back and back and back to the, uh, uh, to, to the Bible. Um, sure, yeah, just fire the question. I'll look at the camera and gaze longingly at the audience and never break eye contact. No blinking, and I'll answer it really passionately in a soft but deliberate tone. Don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Good to get rid of the frog there. Listen, up. just have a little uh, uh, wet here, if you, if you don't mind. So, um, that's the one. All right, anyway, what was the question? I can't remember now. Take five. So then, Marco, what is it like to live a rock and roll lifestyle? Oh, you're joking, man. It's, it's kind of all jelly and ice cream with me and like Punch and Judy and stuff. No, I don't, I'm joking. I mean, the uh, glue sniffing for the over 50s. Uh, craft glue. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, smells good. You want to go? <laughs> Oh, should we let one stop? No, maybe later. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> mm. That's good. <laughs> All right, I'll let it come out. <laughs>